and welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to cover the idea of hiding from a ghost versus the hiding spots. Uh, most newer players will basically just want to go for a hiding spot and figure that's the only way to do with the ghost. Um, frankly, anything that blocks the ghost's line of sight um, keeps it from immediately knowing where you are or okay, well, a lot of other things. So you'd be surprised what we actually use to hide behind the ghost. Now I've loaded up a custom difficulty that's basically just intermediate, but I've reduced the starting sanity to 50 so that we'll get huts relatively quickly. Um, I'm just going to bring a smudge stick and a lighter. Hold it. Actually, oh, uh, I should have brought a candle too for what I was going to do with it, but it's fine. So, I'm going to actually bring a flashlight. Anyway, so, um... So, I remember with Intermediate, we've started to get spots that, uh... The hiding spots start to, start to go scarcer. There's a few that are... Always locked. In here, so we got the garage lockers. That's fine. And we've got this minivan in the Tanglewood garage. Use this to block line of sight easily. Uh, depending on where it's coming from in the back or the right side of the van, block it. And in certain cases, you can loop the thing around. There will only be a 20 second hunt. So when I mean, you have a smudge stick with you, that's six seconds out of that 20. So you could try to loop as much as you can, and then break out the smudge stick. Uh, doesn't really help, obviously, if it uh, starts its hunt right next to you, but um, maybe this is intermediate, we still have a four second, so four second grace period, so let's look around the rest. Now, you already have seen the kitchen here. Uh, in the kitchen aisle, aisle here, you can use this for the same idea, back behind the counter, whatever side you need to, to block the line of sight. Just keep in mind you may not be blocking the line of sight. So, and it still gets that speed boost. Yeah, now down here in the basement, you don't have the hiding spot. If you hide behind these rack a little bit, it's not as good as the hiding spot, but uh, it could still be, you could still break line of sight. Now, if the ghost comes down here in the basement, it's going to probably look all over. It, Sometimes I've seen it come to the bottom of the stairs and go back up, but I don't trust that. That I just got um, it just, it just still come up here enough, but... Back to the boys' room with the closet. Okay, the, the closet is doable now. Mind you, the closet wasn't. You can use the closet door open to still break the site. Not quite as nice as the closet. Um, basically, the ghost kind of. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the hunt's over. I didn't even hide in the closet, I just hid behind the door. But it also never came into the boys' bedroom. Oh, so, that's just a ghost event right there. But it blew out the light in the bedroom. Keep in mind, the lights will all go out. Now here in the nursery, we've got the hiding spot. But the dagger chain from the station also can block some line of sight, potentially. Kind of like the door, um, so it's frequently because you don't have a hiding spot or you have fewer, it doesn't ghost. Um, anything that like breaks line of sight. Uh, the closet here in the foyer living room area that's blocked off. The but this closet isn't sure. Um, the closet doors themselves could break line of sight as well, which goes for one strategy of having the keeping the doors just enough to get in during a hunt. And then that'll block line of sight. Uh, 
essentially. So now keep in mind that the ghost now remembers the waypoint, so if it saw you ducking into this room, it actually set a waypoint there. It actually set a waypoint. Was in a hunt. Oh, okay, that's the end of the hunt. It was at the other end there. But yeah, I see I kept just hiding behind that door. Oh, well, where it is, you could do that in nursery as well. Just hide behind this diaper chain station. Not perfect. It's not as good as others, but it's got to get so many uh, line of sight points on here to actually detect you, then to kill you. But in that time, depending on the ghost, you could, that's when you could pop a smudge stick and just head out of there. That solid six seconds. Remember that six seconds doesn't change between difficulty. If you're doing insanity mode, and you'll still get six seconds. Or at least six, you can get a uh, piece of more, you can get twelve. Also keep in mind, I mean, think in Hunters right now, um, we could probably figure out what our, a little bit about the ghost from what our sand but it's not going to be bad. So make sure to be right here in the next of this. See, uh, well, the hunt's only 20 seconds, so I didn't have enough time to show you follow me into the police program, but I smudged it, ran away. So keep that in mind when you're going to get investigations. But even if you don't see your favorite hiding spot, don't hit the escape. Ghost. 